Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we quelled the piracy menace that was infesting Lorland Village. And we did so quite nicely. Uh, we didn't even die, not but once, and we had a great time helping the people out. Our helping of said people is not yet done, however, because Bolson, uh, you may remember him from Breath of the Wild, he said that in order to rebuild the village, they need exactly 20 pieces of rice and 15 logs. Now, that doesn't necessarily seem like a lot to me. Frankly, it seems like enough for maybe one house. But who am I to question, all right? Bolston knows his way around some wood. He's a professional. And if he says we only need 15 logs, well, by golly, 15 logs are what we'll have. Hey there, the logs are fighting back. What if we said no? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Honestly, I wish all of you guys would get up and walk like the Ents because it only takes the one swing of the sword. Where is it takes... Oh, I guess it only takes the one swing of the sword. Why did I feel like it took more? Interesting. We should take care to not destroy these. <laughs> because wouldn't that be sad? Goodness knows there may not actually even be 15 here. We may yet have to take our spoils elsewhere. But we got three, then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total here. Eight total here. So this is roughly half of what we need. I hope that we can take them back. Korok Fron, look at that. Korok Fron for the Korok friend. I wonder if we can just drop these things off or if we have to bring all freaking 15 of them at one time. Don't you get anywhere. Where are you going? Oh, you going straight for you, Nobo? You've only got eyes for the rock boy, huh? That I do not take kindly to. All right, you get out of here. Don't mess with my friends or I'll mess you up. All right, calcium boy. Oh, no. Don't burn the trees there, though, Rocky. Very much like the uh, the trees to remain intact. Well, mostly intact. What was that? That was a tree branch. I thought, like, a sword came out of it. And I guess tree branches are swords for the first, like, two hours of the game. But no longer, all right? We are well past the point of that. We are back into the point of, like, 45s being our base swords. We've got a host of really good weapons at this point in the game, and that's not necessarily a problem. I guess it only is once we uh, start to question whether or not we should pick things up. And I'm certainly... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm just accidentally using all the powers. Grab these teeth. So we've got two bundles of four? Or a bundle of three, bundle of four? Maybe more trees here than I thought. Yeah, that is a bundle of four. Here's a bundle of five. Put these two together. Man alive! That's nine. We'll make this a little prettier. Like an actual thing. There we go. That's close. So that's, uh, yeah, that's nine. And we got ten, eleven here. Did trees respawn when I wasn't looking? Hey, frog boy, you come here. Or did I just not count? One of the two happened, clearly. I'd hope for it to be the respawning, because that means that we can potentially get all these trees here without having to leave the area. We need five more. And I only think there's three up here. That's mildly. Of course, I could be wrong. Hopefully, I am wrong. I am wrong, but in the wrong direction. There's not three. There's one. Oh, boy. Isn't it just lovely? Come here. Oh, you. No, no, no. All right. You should have seen what the other ones had in terms of, uh, Oh, you dropping out lizards. Thanks very much. Those lizards were quite stunned, too. <laughs> they were sleeping. They were in the middle of a siesta. I suppose it's 1130 at night, so it's more a, uh, a night's rest than a siesta. But still, they fell out and were like, oh, what's going on? So we've got 4, 7, 10, 12. Wait, did I count that correctly? I think so. This one is a little larger. Huh. Just that angle. So we need three more logs. And I see exactly the ones that we'll be having. They're over by the shrine. Isn't that convenient? I just want to make sure that I can drop these off first. I really hope so because, gosh, it's going to be extremely inconvenient to carry these down here and have Bolson be like, no, no, I only accept them in increments of 15. You get those 12 out of here. I don't want to see them because then I'm gonna have to transport them back up the freaking hill to the shrine. And uh, frankly, I got no idea how I would go about doing that. I don't even know how I'm gonna get these down. Um, Cause goodness knows if we drop them, they're liable to break it. Keys boy, please refrain from bothering me right now. Can't you see I'm doing something here? 
excuse me. Excuse me. You want to get logs dropped on you? Get out of here. Yes. Get under the logs. There we go. See? Now what do you what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, you want to leave. You want to leave. Yeah, fine. Get out of here. My royal bow, a royal baroque. Hmm. We could probably set it down there. I don't think that's too far of a drop. In fact, if I rotate it like this, it'll be even better. Yes, perfect. Look at this. And we're in Lorland Village. You can tell by the the music change there. Just uh there. Woo! Woo, that's it's fragile! Oh god! Yeah, maybe it's not as fragile as I thought. What's this? Bomb fruit? Bomb fruit. No, can't grab the slippery tree. Okay, well, it's fine. We've got 12 logs for you, Bolson. I can't... I can't see. Okay, good. You're standing out here in the rain. You have eaten the pirate ship. Where'd the pirate ship go? Where'd the pirate ship? And hold on. Are these... These palm logs? Huh? Wait just a minute. I'm guessing you want to add this to our log collection. Shh, how about a hi? How are you doing? Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the whole man of few words thing, but come on, I'm right here. Anywho, I'll add this to the stockpile. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Absolutely. As he shouts at me from across the bay. Very nice. Okay, well, it's good to know that we can indeed give it to him in increments. He's got 12, you know, that's, what, four-fifths? It's 80% of the way there. Three more! I see two over here, which is what I was going to grab before you so rudely stopped me, Bulls. And I was gonna say hi, I was gonna say hi. I just wanna check these out. These look... These look good to me. They don't look like palm logs. They look like good logs. And there's a treasure chest in here. I wonder if it's not the one we already extracted, though. Huh? No, it doesn't look empty. What do you got for us? A blue rupee! Hey! That's five dollars! Okay, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice indeed. There's another one. We did already grab a chest from this bay here. And it had a piece of clothing, actually. It had the tunic from Wind Waker. With a little lobster on it. You know, not, not like a live lobster or anything, though. I guess it would make sense having us fished out of it. Or fished it out of the water. Another five dollars! Great. I mean, the village probably needs those more than we do. We're just digging around in their pond here, sucking out their money. He smells the wood, he says. Ha! <laughs> I smell high-quality lumber. There you go. Lumberize this, Captain. Uh, go ahead. That's two of the remaining three. And then, of course, the final one will have to be netted from up where the shrine is. Unless, of course... Well, we do have rice, too. How much rice? We got six, right? There's not enough rice. I need 20. Okay, so we can't we can't give him any rice incrementally. We have to give him all at once. And we've got 11. Okay, that's more than I thought, which is not not bad. Um, if I remember correctly, it is sold in places. I think it might be sold in Zora's domain. I don't know why I think that. I don't know, something about Zora's and fish, fish and rice, sushi, you know, my favorite food. Uh, it seems like it would go along together, but... We'll have to uh, we'll have to check that out here after we of course grab this final log. That's going to take everything we have to grab, unless of course you can give me a. Oh, you can barely not give me that, can you? I see how it is. I see how it is. Fine, fine. Well, you're going to force me to change clothes. How do you like that? Hmm. Out here, in public. Goodness gracious, it's practically unheard of. There's my juiciness, and even why don't we? We don't have any, any more, oh we do, I, I keep, I look over these for whatever reason. The sticky elixirs just do not stand out in my eye. So the sticky elixirs combined with the sticky shirt, I mean, I don't like saying that, you probably don't ever want to see a sticky shirt. If you've got a sticky shirt, something has gone wrong. I mean, I'm guilty of creating a sticky shirt or two in my time. Uh, when I was younger, I was part of the wait staff. I was a server at Buffalo Wild Wings. And I remember one evening, I was working rather late. We closed at midnight, and a party of like 20 people came in at 10 p.m. So as you might imagine, I was a little tired, a little frustrated, but nonetheless provided that great LP service that you've come to know and love. Anyways, as I'm dealing with these people, they let me know that friggin' Tommy the toddler has a birthday. And I say, great. That's awesome. I don't care if it's true or not. Tommy the toddler is gonna get a Tommy toddler snack, all right? So I go back, and we'd have these little cakes and ice creams and stuff. I grab a cake, grab an ice cream, 
And before I get back, they yell at me across the way, and they want some beers. I say, okay, that's fine. You know, you got a Buffalo Wild Wings, you get a meal, what, you, can have some, you got some beers, you're fine, you're all 21. Anyways, I go back, put the beers on the tray with the cake. I'm going back. I'm gonna deliver the cake first to the child, right? Of course, the child deserves the cake. The child has aged that day. It is his natural right. Anyways, as I go over towards the child, something shifts in the tray. The tray slips and slides and I dump beer all over the child. Sticky shirt, that's the story of the day. Anyways, no sticky shirt for us anymore since the rain has stopped and we are no longer climbing. And what's more, we're also done with the log acquisition part of this quest. So, Bolson, feast your eyes upon this big old wood, buddy. You like that, huh? Do you like the wood? Thank you, I'll be sure to take good care of this. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Oh, it's so excellent, Link, thank you. Mm. As it makes 15 in our collection, we just need 20 bundles of rice. Oh. We gotta restore these charming buildings to their former glory. All right, so oh. I don't got the rice, but as I just mentioned, it is time to change. Let's get some soldier's armor on. Look at that, we look official. Emissary of the princess. Uh, let's head on over to Zora's domain so that we can check my story or my theory or whatever you wanna call it. If there is, in fact, no rice to be found at Zora's Domain, I've got one other place I'd like to look, and that's Lookout Landing. See, looking at Lookout Landing. <laughs> uh, I'd like to check there, and if it's not there, then I guess I could check Kakariko and Hotno. And if all those prove fruitless, then shoot, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw some rice on the ground and take pictures of it, because that's what you do when you're missing things. All right, when Serena tells me, hey, we're out of coffee, I'm sprinkling on the ground, I'm taking photos of it so I can track it. I need to ascend, don't I? I can't be down here. There's no rice in the water. I'm definitely gonna have to put on the Zora's armor as well so that I can ascend to this waterfall. Quite literally. Please allow me. Thank you very much. Now, where is the store? It's down on this, oh, here it is. This looks story, right? Oh, rice. You've got. Ooh. Four? Four rice. That's not a lot. Unfortunately, that's not enough either. But I'll take your arrows too. I mean, while I'm here, I may as well patronize you. You know, support small businesses this is only right. Tomatoes? Splash fruits? Violets? No. Uh, ooh. Mmm, a hearty salmon. Hearty ooh. salmon could be a good deal, <laughs> right? Because hearty things replenish all of your hearts and then some. We've tapped out the resources here at Zora's Domain. Next on the agenda was checking out Look Out Landing. Fingers crossed, people. And fingers crossed they've got six. I already know that's not gonna be the case. There's no way they have more than five. But fingers crossed anyways. And hey, while we're here, we could also go pray to the goddess and gain ourselves some stamina. We've been holding on to these orbs of light for far too long. We can get at least two upgrades. We could get a half upgrade as well if, uh, you know, they sold them in those increments, but unfortunately, the government doesn't allow them. Anyways, we're here now. No toll and help to sail across. Since we're gonna jump over this hurricane shelter, I'm just gonna go down here first and pray. Oh, look at that, it's right here. Been a minute, girl, how you been? Man, you looking, you looking as good as ever. Now, I would ideally, like two stamina vessels. Uh, we can you can you give me that? Can we have extra stamina in Tears of the Kingdom? Is that a thing that it has been arranged? Even like three and a half, four would be great. Any at all, really, if it just caps at the next sliver, because we've maxed out three rings. Your being overflows with vigor. You hitting on me? No more need. There. Oh, you are so presumptuous. You statue. I know you don't do a whole lot of moving. You probably don't know a lot about stamina at all. But I got needs for stamina. You're like you are overflowing. Too much stamina. All right. You're like a four-year-old cracked out on Coca-Cola. I guess I'll settle for a heart. It's better than nothing, right? And let me do some quick counting. I gotta get up here close to the monitor and what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, goodness me, that's a hearty amount, oh, wouldn't you know, anyways, 
feel pretty good about that. Uh, I would feel better, as I said, if I could have gotten another stamina, but hey, choosers can't be beggars. You can't, you can't begin to choose, you can't get stamina. Anyways, rice is here, but only three, even less than the last place. How sick, You're gonna make me throw up, what is this? So now we're at what, 18? Yes, indeed, 18. So we need to find two pieces of rice. Um, let's go to hot no. Or Kakariko? I don't know, let's go to Kakariko first, since it's it's closer. I know we're, we're fast traveling, so that doesn't actually make any sense. What does it sell here? It was, nah. I'm dreaming. Of a rice vendor. Okay, you got butter, pumpkins, and carrots, Granny. No, you got a quest? Did you say that? Maybe I, I didn't see. But I did remember something, too. Before I just hightail it over to Hot No, when we were here some weeks ago doing the quest, the Granny was caught bathing in the gloom. She was sucking it down like a camel in the desert. Uh, and we had to feed her the porridge. You remember? She was actually just up here. Uh, her children or grandchildren or helpers said that there was a merchant selling rice and milk. And they were just outside this this way, right? Was it to the west? To the east. I think it may have actually been to the west. Yeah, it was to the west. So we'll warp back over to the Makasura Shrine and give that, that vendor another shot at spawning. Because if they are there, one, I'll be kind of surprised because that would mean they haven't made any freaking progress. Like, I'm not a a quick mover, all right? I mean, I haven't been a quick mover since I was 23 and I was in the U.S. Army. I'm slow. I'm old and slow, and th but this dude, ooh, you're taking it to a whole new level. You're going six inches per hour at best. Where are we at here? Over this direction. Now, they didn't spawn until we had already passed the Addison fella. It was beyond this valley. So we've probably got a little bit of a ways until they even show up. But I'm still going to get down there and start soaring. Well, hey, hold on. Is that them? Is that them? I see a... I see a horsey friend. Oh, no. I mean, maybe the horse are selling rice. Like, I don't know. Who am I to judge? You can do whatever you want. This. This could be someone. That looks like a Link almost. What? Who is this? Who are you? You got the... You got the same haircut. Yeah. You selling rice? Oh. Garshan? No, you're, you're visiting oh. ruins? Oh. I don't want to visit any ruins, all right? I want to visit the rice fields. They were over this horizon last time I saw them. They were, like, right here. So it doesn't look like... Doesn't look like I'm going to have any luck. Oh, that's relatively unfortunate. We'll give them another... Another couple seconds to spawn. Do you want to spawn for us? Maybe not. This dude's having trouble entering the village. Yeah, that, that's that's the wall, buddy. You gotta go around it. Good job. All right. Gonna have a good time. Well, they didn't have them here. So maybe they'll have them at hot and no. To hot and no, we hot and go. Huh? You like that? I say hot and no way that they don't have any rice. I'm putting that out in the world, all right? We are going to think positively until positive things reflect back upon us. They say, put out into the world what you wish to come to you. I'm putting out rice vibes, all right? Rice is squirting out of my pores right now. I'm just, some, I'm, I'm manifesting rice in the world. Please. It's a very moist place. Rice needs lots of moisture to grow. You guys got water? You guys could, could rice it up here? It'd be quite nice if you did. Hey, if you come up here, it's pottery. I didn't break that, but now I can. We also need, there's there's several things we still need to do here. Election season, you guys talking about it? Yeah, that, that's one of the quests I do want to fulfill in this area. Probably not today though, since we're already on a different mission. Oh, is that rice? Yes, it is. Mm. The positively we put Posi the positively positive, positive news that we put out into the world huh. has come to fruition. We oh. now have more than enough rice, which is good because that means we can keep some. Is there anything else we need while we're here? I suppose some arrows couldn't hurt. 
Definitely gonna use them. All right, I've got carcasses littering my trail, impaled with arrows. But goodness knows, we'll undoubtedly continue to maintain that pace. Uh, Hylian shrooms, is that what those are? Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about some regular stuff, some eggs and milk, just so that we can experiment again at a later date. Uh, maybe 10 days ago at this point, maybe a little longer before we made our way to Hot Nova the first time. Uh, I spent a good, like, 10-15 minutes experimenting with cooking dishes. And I think that'd be great. And hey! What is this? I want, I want, I want your rice, alright? I am here to buy you out! All your rice. I don't want no fast carrots. But I will take some butter. Even though it comes from goats. It's interesting to me. Why, where's the goat milk? And the goat cheese, for that matter. You're making dairy products from different animals. Anyways, we now have what we desire. We died right in the, inside that shrine? Must have happened. Okay, well, Bama Talk, is that probably the best one? Interesting. Eh. Did Bama Talk? No, that's a blessing. That one's like under the earth. No, 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 no. We need to go to this one. Woo! I almost made a mistake. I would have shown up there and be like, ooh, 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 where am I at? Ooh, God. Doing like a caveman SpongeBob. But and I realized my mistake before I even made it. Look at that. Some would call that foreskin foresight. Some would call that foresight. And I've got plenty of well, I don't have any foresight. Who am I kidding? Alright, I caught myself in all sorts of mischief every single day. Oh, but hey, that's part of the fun, right? That's why I play these games. The unique experiences that they provide me. And of course they help when I uh, you know. Inter 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 join them when I enjoy them as well. Bolson, my friend, hello. I brought you a bunch of rice. Can you see it on my person? The lighting here is awesome. Look at it, it's tropical. Oh. We want to gather all the logs. Give, oh. me, give me the rice. Oh, I smell rice on you, boy. Oh, well, just look at you go. I like the hustle. Mm. First thing I've got to do is use those logs you collected to shore up the foundations. So hold tight for you should have been doing that, dude. I brought I brought you them logs like a full day ago in game. You wait till you see rice before you start building. I see how it is. All right, you didn't trust me. You didn't think I would get it here in time for you to complete the construction. Oh ye of little faith, have I not killed enough enemies before thine eyes, Bolson, for you to trust me? Oh. Sounds of construction. Very intimidating. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Okie do. Sorry for the wait. Mmm, look at that. The foundations are nice and solid. Now it's time to move on to preparing the buildings. There are five buildings that need fixing. Three of them are establishments. The inn, the restaurant, and the lucky treasure shop. Two of them are homes. The repair process will depend on the building we're working on, so I'll explain once you decide where we start. <laughs> now we're getting to the real meat of the process. Wait. Let's work on an establishment mm. first. Um, an inn, a restaurant, a treasure shop? Let's do the treasure shop. What is oh. that? That sounds interesting. I thought we had enough rice and stuff to mm. just do everything. It's a charming spot that beguiles the traveler with a treasure game. That rumor has it, no one ever loses. Mm. How about we head to the lucky treasure shop so I can explain what we need to do to fix that baby up? <laughs> Okie do, please follow me. Is it gonna be like a mini game? So, like, like an activity that we help with Ultra Hand? I had guessed as much, but oh. part of me thought that we were done. Hmm. Once upon a time, a palm tree grew through the building's second story roof. It used to be a bit of a landmark because of that, but now, well, the Bokoblin straight up ate it. It's gone. No one can explain it. There has to be a central pillar. It's a critical support for a building. I already used the logs you corrected to shore up the foundation. Oh. Look at that house over there. What I'm thinking is we'll use a log from a palm tree as the central pillar for the lucky treasure shop too. But this building is big. So rather than connect to the roof and the floor, the palm log would go in the plant pot on the second floor and through the hole in the roof. Mm. It's easy enough to get a palm tree log from the palm trees going around here, but how are we going to get it in there? It's quite the conundrum. Hey man, you said you had this crap under control. I'm mighty disappointed in you. You tell me you're gonna do all this thing and you're like, well actually, I need, I need you to do it. That's fine, I got the mystical zone eye hand, so I'll be glad to 
help you out here, buddy. Just excuse me, all right? Everybody, get, get, wear your hard hats, because Link's coming through, and everyone knows Link's not necessarily the, the safest member of the crew. Goodness gracious. Uh, anyways, we have acquired the requisite height to plant this in the plot. Ooh, we gonna get up there? How we gonna get up? We're gonna have to stand on this, aren't we? Goodness gracious. Okay, now? Now we have the height? Let's get this straight up and down. Barely have the height. Goodness, it's like this is exactly what the game wanted us to do. Oh! Mama. It's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillow to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Yeah, so it does look like it's going to be, uh, maybe not a mini game, but some sort of small activity for each building. Which is cool. Which is cool. I do appreciate the fact that we get to participate in it. It's not just a, hey, you brought us a crap ton of logs and rice, and everything's better. You get to bring them. These, I don't, is this Bolson? Someone gets to thrash about and make animal noises. And hey, more power to them if that works. Uh, either which way, though, it's an activity. And it's a beautiful treasure shop. Look at that. It is donezo. Even the finishes and everything. Oh. Whoa, what exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. Oh. Well, I heard the pirates were gone and came running. I can't believe I can open my shop again. Well, I never thought this day would come. Ah. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please, I have to thank you. Take these explosives. <laughs> I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no need for that now. Because of you, the Lucky Treasure Shop is back in business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You can be broke and still come in and try your luck. Doors are open starting now. Is that just for me or for everyone? Because that sounds like a, huh? a failing business model. Hi, hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. Indeed we will, Bolson, but first... But first, let's check this out. What, what is this? <laughs> well, look who it is. The kid who sent the pirates packing. The kid who rebuilt the whole village, including this humble establishment. When we meet at the table, I took you for the fragile type. Glad you proved me wrong. Oh. You're drinking already, dude? What? You got, like, bottles galore? Goodness gracious. He's like, my building's back! Go, 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 go. But enough sappy stuff. This is the lucky treasure shop where I run what you call a game of luck. See those treasure chests? <laughs> Pick any one of them and open it. <laughs> Don't be shut. Crack one open. So that's just it. We just pick a random one. Huh. So there's three. We got one, two, three. Let's go all the way left. L for LP. What do we got? A green. I mean, hey, we got a dollar. It's a free dollar. Ooh. Come here, kid. Let me see it. It's a dollar. I mean, you put it in there. Green. Okay. So that means you get the prize on the left. Oh. Take it. Thief. Ah. Why are you calling me a thief? What you talking about, huh? <laughs> Talkin so, so you don't get the money, you get the prize associated with it. So I could have gotten that horn, that horn, or this horn. I mean, this is a. I, I'm, no, no, no. I'm trying to. I'm trying to grab this. Decent stuff, honestly. The ice breath Lazafos horns, arguably just as good as anything else. It's got an elemental effect, which is nice. And now, presumably, Bolson will want to work Mama. on another house because he's just a busy bee. Uh, let's do a home now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll do Armis's house. The village head can wait, all right? I don't think that, that they need it as much. Wow, that one is in serious disarray. I'm going to have to guess that we're going to do the same thing there. Uh, they definitely had, like, a little spot for a, a log, a palm log specifically. Uh, but there is not a lot going on here. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it. I already shored up the foundation, so if we can place a log, that should do it. Oh. Cool. All right, same exact thing. Log style. And hey, don't mind if I just like destroy this stuff too. All right, I need the arrows. Thank you. Oh, I need I need all the arrows. Yes, very good. Anyways, we have taken part of our fee, and now for the probably want to get up here, don't we? Everything's a game of height. Goodness gracious, Anakin, I have the high ground. I can put my log in your hole. Wait. No. 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 Um, this is actually a no as well. Okay, we're gonna have to stand on the building. Can we actually even do that? There's mm, barely enough room for us to do so. 
get me? Oh, no. We can't do it? What, are we gonna come up through the through the underside? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of how this is working out. Let's come up this direction then. Perhaps we do need to weed it. Weed it through. And up. And up. And get up in there. Ah, you part. No. No, that didn't work either. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, yes. You're. Oh, you're up there, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And now you're down. We need to be like on top of this, which is precarious as all get out. Oh, we're in the hole. Nobody put a log in here, please and thank you. Precarious as all get out. Can we just? Yeah, I didn't think so. Not big enough for us to ascend through, but it's fine. Oop, 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 we're jumping off that. I think. I think there may be an easier way that I am missing. But this is gonna work, gosh darn it. This is gonna work, Twin Flamet. Yeah, that still doesn't. We just need to get up here. Just get up here. Okay, we're up here. Now the problem is that's not up here. Thankfully we do have the technique called recall. And that's going to help us uh, <laughs> grab it. Once it, you know, springs to life, it's gonna freak out, Bolson. Oh, the log is moving. Yes, Bolson. I am the log sage. Oh, come now, get in the hole. There we go, we did it. It's perfect. Oh, just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Oh, oh. He's a very expressive individual. Bolson, da-da-da, Bolson, wah-ha-hoo-ha, -ah, Bolson, da-da-da, Bolson, sha-sha-sha-ding. Now that, that's a jam. All right, I think I heard that on TikTok. Goodness gracious, that's a viral sound if I've ever heard one. Anyways, construction on Ames house is complete, and it's beautiful too. Uh, he mentioned something about catches, you fishermen. You really fixed it. Thank you. I can finally get back to making a living. Well, I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as an apology. It's fifty dollars. Now I can go fishing again. You know I don't need more of any fish to feed myself, so I share the extras I'll catch with other folk. Just like that guy right there. It's a chest full of fish. I usually save them, but I owe you for fixing it. If you have any extras to share, I'll be putting them in front of my house. Please take whatever you need. Interesting. I'm gonna go examine that oh. right now. Because I am the beast of construction, as Bolson put it. And the beast of construction craves seafood. Give me a purple ruby. Oh. Oh, maybe that's what he meant. He meant like extras from the living. Well, goodness gracious, I don't feel great about stealing this dude's like life savings, but hey, he says he don't need it. And he don't need it. These are harpoons. I want this one in front of me. There we go. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Anyways, got a photo of that. Now it's time to move on. So the next one, I'm gonna do an establishment. You know, we're working back and forth from establishment, house establishment. But we're gonna do that next time. So, thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. And with that said, I'll see you then.